This is the Western Digital 2 Terabyte WD Blue 3D NAND Internal PC Solid State Drive. Now, I picked this up on a recommendation from a friend that pretty much told me, hey, if you're looking for something that's going to be efficient and also store up to two terabytes, then this is going to be your solution. Now, you can see this is relatively small and fairly light. I'm pulling it on out here. Nothing else is inside the box. Now, we go ahead and open this on up. And you'll see it came along with an instruction manual. I'm just going to go ahead and look at the cartridge, make sure everything is up to snuff and nothing is beat up. And of course, it's definitely clean. Looks pretty good. And you'll see on the back portion here, there is a sticker that you're going to have to remove before installing it into your PC. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside this instruction manual. And I can essentially summarize it for you. It essentially says that you should let the installation up to a professional, let them handle it. Uh, but me, I went ahead and handled it myself. Now, I picked up this bracket and thinking I was going to need it. In the event that you don't have brackets inside your PC, this might be a good addition. Um, but I went ahead and opened it up anyways, took a peek at it. Uh, fairly easy packaging here. And it is actually a dual mount for any SSDs that you have in here. It comes along with the screws as well as the mounting screws, so it's not too bad. And uh, other than that though, uh, nothing too fancy. It's very light, uh, it's pretty affordable in my opinion. And next up, I ended up getting the SATA cables because obviously we're gonna need to plug this into the PC. Now, in the event that you don't have a power cable, that's gonna be something you're gonna need to get as well for your SSD. But thankfully, I've got an Alienware Aurora R7 that actually comes with two power cables already installed inside it here. In fact, let's go ahead and transition over to the R7. You'll take a look here where I mounted it inside the bracket that was already there. Thankfully inside the R7, it actually comes with two brackets here and you end up just pinching it and pulling it out and then you just insert the SSD. No extra brackets necessary, but you see the power supply is already installed here. And then I took the SATA cable, put it in one end and fed it all the way into the back. In fact, I'm gonna shine a light right here and you can see, sorry, it's a little blurry, but it's right back there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now that we have the SSD installed, let's see about initializing it. So we're gonna right click over on PC, click Manage. As soon as that opens up, you're gonna to wanna to click on Storage and then Disk Management. And it should automatically prompt you, you wanna keep it at GPT. Hit OK when you're all set and then right click on the surface there. New Simple Volume is what you want. Hit Next. Next, you can change your drive letter if you want. I don't really care about this little step. Hit Next. I also hit next right here and it should come up to the very final window to where it will see about finalizing it by hitting finish. And of course it's gonna format it here. You can see my PC is already taken to it. Hopefully that helps.